What, what, where, where, where are you up to then before the battery went? <laughs> Different boxing channels. Uh, different boxing channels. Look, these boxing channels that are now good boxing channels, but I don't listen to everybody's because they're hanging out. So a lot of them, I'm not going to say any names because it, they bore me to death. But they, they, these people are hanging out of the back of people. Right? They don't say a word. They don't say a word right? because they want to keep in with certain people because. Basically, they don't know what else going on in their life, so it's at the channel, have they? They've not got their hands in any of the pies like some of us other people have, who were fortunate. So, that's how I look at it. So, they, they put all their eggs in one basket, whereas you've got to have a few eggs if you're going to eat, haven't you? Do you see where I'm coming from? You've got to have your few, a few little sticky pies with your fingers in. If you're going to get on in life, you can't just say I'm going to be a YouTuber and do this. I couldn't do this if I didn't do other stuff. I wouldn't be able to do it. Because the pay is terrible. Terrible. But it's something I like doing. Um, you know, it's dinner time now. When I finish dinner, I'll get this uploaded. And we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a bit of training and then I'll move on. I'm going to do something else for the rest of the day. I'll be done about 7 o'clock tonight. So my day's a long day. But other people haven't got that in their lives, have they? Ultratech, he's got other other things except YouTube. I know UCTV Boxing has. Terry Chapadama, he's a banker, he's got other things. It's his passion, isn't it? Like, this is my passion. But, you know, I have other things, you know, that I can be getting on with. But, everybody should be transparent, but they're not going to be, are they? Because they all think that they're going to get in with certain people, but these people don't really... These people at the top of boxing, they don't even care about their own fighters, so why are they going to care about a YouTuber? All they're caring about, even if you're a YouTuber, is if you've got a big following and you can get stuff out there for them, they will grease your palm with perks. That's what happens. I know because I've already been asked and I've said no, not even if I get to 100,000 subscribers, which I want. But no, I won't do that. No, I just like to do this for my own personal thing I'm an opinionated we're only a small channel but like I said there's too many hanging out of the back of people because they think they're going to get crumbs when they're not really because these people do not care about you so go and get a life but go on next question um, what's the definition of a casual what's the definition of a casual well for starters it's somebody that wears the jeans halfway up the leg. He's, he says putting his tracky bottoms down. But when I stand up, oh, they go to the bottom, don't they? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you, we all saw that photograph, didn't we? That box in the style of mad, didn't we? As their thumbnail. Was it last week or something? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 all saw, we all saw that. We all saw it. So this is how I look at it, right? If these people like Matt the Casual are going to come out and they're going to go on a channel like mine and they're going to talk like what, they've, what Eddie Hearn does like about bringing boxing to Saudi and China. And we're talking about two British kids here fighting in Saudi and China right, for two fights. Now who in the right mind, who in their right mind wants to Jet out to China. Yeah, I know it's an experience that, but at the end of the day, it's a boxing fight, isn't it? Two British lads not fighting in Britain. We've got Wembley Stadium, we've got Old Trafford. Just charge a bit extra on tickets, because it'll still sell. It will still sell. But the hell bent on going out to these countries to line the pockets. They don't care about the boxing fans. You think Eddie Hearn and Bob Arum care about British boxing fans? Bob Arum's mates, that Sheldon Alderson, and he owns the biggest casinos in Macau is it? Yes, I'm not. Sheldon Alderson is one of the richest men in the world isn't he? He's one of them in the mix paying a site fee for Joshua Fury or Fury Joshua whatever you want to call it. The other ones them Saudis that Barry earn has been hanging out at back of the last 18 months do you know what I mean? They're trying to get a deal with Newcastle United for them aren't they or something. Look bottom line is this right it's about money Boxing is about money. They take the Champions League, don't they, to other countries, so it's only the same, isn't it, really? 
Liverpool played Tottenham, they didn't play at Wembley, did they? Nah. But that's the Champions League, isn't it? Everybody has to play each other. Tyson Fury, he didn't want to fight Ortez, did he, when, when the fight were offered, didn't he? And they've they've manoeuvred the way through choppy waters, haven't they, Joshua and Fury, am I right? You are right, yeah. Well, let me tell you this, Carl Froch has got more wins over world champions than Joshua and Fury put together. And he brought pay-per-view back, but nobody mentions Carl Froch, do they now? Unless they're digging him out for what he's said on Sky. Did you notice how they didn't put Carl Froch's opinion on who wins with Joshua and Fury? Yeah. You think he might have said Fury might win? You think he might have done it? Yeah, can... if, if he'd have said that Joshua won, they'd have put his comment up, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they didn't put his comment on, did they? Nah, they put Spencer Oliver's, Johnny Nelson and uh, the disappearing man's comments up, didn't they? Tony Bellew, the man who wants to be left alone. That's funny though, when, when they, um, when Tony Bellew, what did he, what did he um, predict? Was it five, six rounds, Joshua knockout? Yeah. Embarrassing. Well, that Johnny Nelson the same, or did he say round ten? Yeah, he's round ten, isn't he? And the other one round six, Spencer Oliver. Yeah. Spencer Oliver's from Finchley Gym, where Joshua started, so he's going to go that way. Tony Bellew's hanging out of the back of, back of Joshua. He even did a video, didn't he, Tony Bellew, saying he's embarrassed about his bias for Joshua. Yeah. And, the, and the, who's the other one? Johnny Nelson. Well, that's Johnny Nelson, isn't it? Johnny Company Man Nelson. So they're going to say that, but the other ones picked Fury. Didn't they? Darren Barker went for Fury, which surprised me. So could there be chinks in the armour there? No, nah, I think they're levelling it out, aren't they? Yeah, do you think they're levelling it out? Do you think he's still a company man, Barker? Yeah, he's a big company. They're all company, I think they're all I think it wanted, no, was it three each or something, I think, or four, three, I think it might have been four, three, yeah, but they didn't put Carl Frotcher's comment on, so... I think it's four, three, wasn't it, for an AJ's favour? Yeah, well, if Carl Frotcher's comment had gone on, who do you think he'd have picked? He'd definitely been four, four. You think Carl Frotcher would have picked Joshua to beat Fury? Well, it would have been 5 free then, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, we don't know, do we? Because they didn't put his comment on or they didn't ask him. But who knows? But who cares? <laughs> so, it's one of them things, isn't it? But what do you think is going to happen with Billy Joe now, then? Billy Joe Saunders? Yeah. Massive skills. <clears throat> he's the best middleweight in the world, Billy Joe Saunders, <clears throat> but he's not the best super middle. Sorry, he's the best middleweight in the world. Because he doesn't knock anybody out at middleweight, does he? Nah. So nah. What, why would he step up to super middle? Because there's, there's, there's a belt there, but if you don't stop anybody at middleweight, you're not going to give that advantage up and go to super middle where you're more vulnerable, are you? Exactly. You get somebody like Callum Smith, four inch taller, mauling him at super middle and leaning on him and pushing him about, you'll feel tired. Yeah, 
Yeah. And he's not getting any younger, Bill, is he? So I think he should go down to middleweight and uh, do his best at middleweight because I think he's best out there at middle. He's not the best super middle by a mile. None of them mention Benny Vitez, do they? No. So, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, fine, mate. Thanks for coming on. Don't have nightmares. <laughs> I'll have you on again next Monday, how's that? Yeah, mate, definitely. Alright then, Big V, you take care, mate. Yeah, you too, man. Cheers, pal. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Right. Well, that was Big V. I think I need a cup now after that grilling from uh, Big V. He, uh, he always comes up with some good questions, so... We'll get these out today, part one, two and three, obviously because of the battery situation. I need to take these batteries on and charge them, I think. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares.